Hey everyone, it's Brian from Central Medical Supply, and today we're going to go through the setup, use, and troubleshooting for our home fill oxygen system. When dealing with the home fill operating system, these are the components that you're going to make sure that you have. The first thing is your oxygen concentrator that is compatible with the home fill. Your home fill sister compressor with a ready rack platform that this is currently sitting on. Your coiled interconnect oxygen supply line that connects to the home fill top compressor as well as the concentrator. Two of your home fill system oxygen tanks. One oxygen tank shoulder carry bag. As well as your standard oxygen patient kit that we deliver with all of our oxygen deliveries. Now, when all of your components and cords are connected and plugged into a proper power source, turn on the concentrator by pushing the power button. The unit will make an audible test tone noise momentarily. Lights on your panel will illuminate and you will hear the concentrator start to run. A green light on the front panel indicates that there are no malfunctions. This can take a few minutes to register. Using the adjustment knob, ensure that the flow rate on the concentrator is at or below three liters per minute. A small black or orange ball in a clear plastic cylinder on the front of the machine indicates the flow rate from zero up to five in half liter increments, not above the line, not below it, right in the center of the line. You want to allow the concentrator to run for a minimum of five minutes. Attach one of the two tanks provided to the top compressor unit. You want to remove the dust cap from the tank filling outlet, both on the tank as well as the top compressor piece. Turn the conserving regulator to off position. Be sure the pressure gauge on the regulator reads 1,000 PSI or less. If not, turn the regulator to 2 liters per minute continuous and let enough of the oxygen run out until the gauge reads 1,000 PSI or less. Now this may take several minutes. Be sure the connecting collar of the home fill system compressor is ready to accept the tank. Green dots are visible around the collar when it is able to accept the tank. If not, Push the collar downwards until it locks and the green dots are visible. Then you're going to connect the tank to the home fill system compressor by laying it horizontally on the cradle area with the fill fitting facing downwards. Then you want to push down on the tank until it locks onto the compressor. You will hear a click just like that. You're then going to want to turn on the home fill system compressor unit. The unit may make a test tone noise momentarily. You will hear the home fill system compressor start to run, could take up to a few minutes. An amber yellow light next to waiting or O2 below normal, depending on your model, will illuminate while the compressor prepares itself. After a few minutes, the amber light will turn off then the green filling light will turn on. When filling is complete, the green light next to full will turn on and the compressor will turn off. Turn the home fill system compressor power switch to off. Then you're going to want to remove the oxygen tank from the compressor unit. Push down on the locking collar on the home fill system compressor unit and lift the tank off. Then you're going to want to replace the dust cap on the filling outlet, just like that. When you're ready to use the tank, first you need to connect the nasal cannula line to the tank, just like this. Then turn the conserving regulator to the desired flow rate. Please be aware that the built-in regulator is a conserving device for flow settings one through five. It is designed this way to increase the duration of the tank. Each pulse of oxygen needs to be triggered by the patient's inhale. The only continuous flow setting 
is the two liters per minute by turning the regulator all the way to the last setting. If the concentrator is not needed at this point, you can turn it off. The patient can be connected to the concentrator while the home fill compressor is refilling a tank, as long as the concentrator's flow rate does not exceed three liters per minute. When the compressor is not filling a tank, the patient can use the concentrator up to its maximum flow rate, but the flow rate must be reduced again when filling another tank.